So, here is our August spread. I already do like have all the months are ready to go you just need to fill in the dates i think august starts on a saturday yep i usually like to use a black ink to do so What I like to do next is um, start to input the pages for the month. So what I do is I go back to the month prior and I just copy. I go up to this icon right here. What it does is it basically just copies the current template or whatever page you're on. So I do that. Then I go up to these four boxes and I drag it down to the new month so we are in august and i really do that for each one we do need a budget tracker and we need this tracker we need a brain dump and we need our weekly spreads i just start to drag it to August. We have our expenses, our budget tracker, tracker, brain dump, and our weekly expenses. I mean our weekly spreads. I also want to add two pages of budget tracking. Uh, sometimes our expenses go into the second page. So I do have like all of these templates pre-made. I do prefer this style of budgeting because I don't have to sit down and recreate the templates. And I know like for some people, and it used to be the same for me, it's very soothing, it's very relaxing just to have that me time and that time aside to create these spreads. But I really like the quickness and the simplicity of digital bullet journaling just for the simple fact that you can just copy and paste and basically just get ready for the new month. Now that I have all my pages that I need for the new month, I just start to fill them in. What I like to do first is I like to start to map out bills. So I have a pretty good idea of when bills are due just because I budget all the time and I constantly see the names of the bills, but sometimes I forget or sometimes there's just a bill that isn't normal, but is due this month. So what I like to do is I like to go to my budgeting sheet and look at the bills and their dates. It's just like a quick reference for me so that I know um, when the bills are due. But I do know that we do have a trash bill due this month. So I will make note of that. But I like to highlight in colors so that I know what account the bill is coming out of or even if it's a bill, it could be a trip, who knows. So the first, we always have a bill and it's always rent. That's not blue, that would be gray. So we always have rent due. Doesn't have to be so long. So we always rent. Oh my goodness. Our internet bill. Once I have it all highlighted, I will fill them in.
Now the next page is basically where we would list all of our bills. So let's do that. So for my husband and I, we are on opposite pay periods. So we do get a check every week. So that is how come there's so many um, lines. It's nice. And then it's also not so nice. That and then we also have like an unexpected just if we sell stuff or um, do DoorDash or anything like that. Total, then we do our bills, which basically just copying it from here to here. I like to budget everywhere, basically. I like to use this spreadsheet, um, which you guys will see in future videos, I think starting next week or the week after. I think it's starting the week after. Um, I like to do a spreadsheet because I have access to it on my iPad, on my iPhone, it's very quick. I just quickly put in expenses and then it's saved, plus it's an Excel spreadsheet, so you use um, different, what are they called? Like codes that basically do the math for you, so you don't really have to um, always have a calculator on you, so that's why I like to use the Google spreadsheets. So, and I just wanna put a number one, one, So now that we have our bills all written out, I have projected amounts and then when the bill is coming up or actually paid, I will put the actual um, and then I, I just like to know or I like to have an idea of what we should expect by um, projecting on the higher side. For this section, I just fill it out as it goes. So. Once we spend money on groceries and whatever color, I usually have it as green. I can kind of fill out where we've spent and just fill it in so that I know like that our our budget, our um, grocery budget has been used. That is what I usually do here. Here's the budget tracker. So whenever an expense is paid, I just fill it in. I put um, the date that it was paid, the transaction, so whether it was groceries or McDonald's or anything like that, I put what account. I do use a credit card and I do have bills both are withdrawn from my bank and the credit card, so that's why I have account. And then I have the amount. And then NW basically means need or want. I get to see if we are buying a lot of things that we need or if we are making a lot of purchases based on wants. Here is a different kind of tracker. So I am going to kind of turn this a bit just so I can write um, better. I have two, um, two trackers of like the same type because I track it for both me and my daughter and then a mix of other things in between. So this top one is usually me. So I like to track my sleep, basically how many hours of sleep I'm getting a night. I like to track my mood. So basically on the one to 10 scale, one being low, 10 being high, and then I like to track my 
stress. I could add something else if I wanted to, but so far those are the three things that I track. And then I also number it. So on this section, I number all the way up to 10. And then on the bottom section here, I just go across for the dates. So there's 31 days. So now this graph is all done. And then what I do is I copy all of this. And I also, see if you guys can see that. Yep. I paste it for Elena. So there is that. And then what I also do is I grab all of this and I paste it to these trackers as well, but I don't line it up right on the lines. I like it to go in the middle of the box. So meaning that it would line up like with the box rather than the line. And I'll do the same to this one. So for these trackers, you could put whatever you want. Uh, for me, I like to track water intake. Um, no money. No money spent. I think that's it because for this bottom part I actually like to track my temperature um, and in it it kind of coincides with like my menstrual cycle usually do it by even numbers so 102 98 then when it comes time to filling it out the reason why I like to put the numbers in the middle is because I actually will just cross off when the task has been completed and then for this one i like it on the line because i like to mark um however many hours i've gotten asleep so eight nine like that kind of thing and then once that's filled out just start connecting the lines and creating the graph. Then for Elena's tracker down here, um, she does take a lot of supplements, at least drinks water throughout the day. And then on the bottom here, I like to track our plants. So I, new to planting and I just want to track and make sure that I water them when they're supposed to be watered because some plants are not watered as often as other plants so I will list all of our plants here then we got a few new plants so what I'm probably going to do is add it up here. I don't ever need these, I feel like, so probably move it down. And then put some plants up here. So we have a chordatum. Oh, that was weird. Have those. And then we have thyme. So I'm just using this for now, but eventually, if we get more and more plants, it might just become a separate layout of its own. That is basically what I do to fill out this portion. So the next page is a brain dump. Um, basically, this is just where I write my notes. It's just a place to basically dump 
my thoughts. Um, and then here's the first week. So let me show you guys how I set this up. So I'll usually number the dates since we start on a Saturday for August. I'll make sure to include the dates prior and then here. Then up here, I have a little calendar so we know what week we're on. And this calendar starts with Monday and ends with Sunday because that is how my week spreads my weekly spreads are laid out so it just makes it simpler for me and then i like to highlight what week we're on and then up here i like to put the dates so we start with july 27th through August 2nd, like so. So just to explain what's going on here, um, I have this key here that I always highlight every week and it's just highlighted to a color that I use in this graph here. So work is usually that color, church, speech. If we don't have anything going on that week, I usually won't give it a color, but fun is normally blue. Like I said, it coincides with this graph here. So whenever I have an appointment or if she has speech, I will kind of mark when it's happening so that I know that I have something going on that day, that time for work. I usually do it at the end of the day when the day is pow and I'll just kind of put however many hours of work was completed that day. Fun would mean like doing extracurricular activities because I want to make sure that our days are filled with fun activities and getting out of the house or anything like that. Here I'll usually put like a birthday or any announcements or events that we have going on that day. And then the task section, I'll usually write out what task I have for that day. If anything YouTube related, I'll put, and I, and then I'll put film Bujo or something. And then once that's completed, I'll just check it off. Budgeting does play a huge part in my bullet journaling. So in this section, I like to keep track of how much is spent day by day. And this is just expenses. This isn't including like bills. We go grocery shopping on Monday and we spend the hundred dollars. I'll just fill it up to that part. Just so I, I can have an idea, like if we spent a lot of money this week or if we were pretty relaxed this week. And that is basically like how the week is set up for me. Um, and then just to show you guys when I move on to the next week, I just copy that calendar and then I just paste it. And I'll erase the highlighter and also the dates that we don't need. And then I'll highlight for that week, like so. And then just continuing setting up like so. So my bullet journal is pretty simple, I would have to say in a sense. Um, I like to keep the layout simple because as you will see in next week's video, especially for the monthly spread, I like to journal. I got this idea can't say her name, but I'll definitely put her name on the screen. But I was definitely inspired by her journaling and I just find a picture of the day or within the days and just post it. And then I'll kind of write a little bit about the day. So I like to keep it simple for that reason. This is what June looked like. 
not too many pictures. I actually just started this bullet journal, obviously in June. So it's just basically roughing, figuring it out and all of that. That's why I like the bullet journal setup in digital format just because it's pretty quick setting it up it doesn't take a lot of time i fill in the necessary information and if i wanted to i could really just copy it and paste it to the next month if i'm really feeling lazy but at least i have the option um and it's that's pretty much it like just filling it in and not spending so much time on it everyone's different some people like that some people don't i am in the middle um, but for right now, I am really enjoying digital bullet journaling. That is our setup for the month of August. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, my first video coming back to YouTube. If you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you have any requests or recommendations, definitely leave them in the comments below. I really appreciate that. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next one.